Welcome to the third class of textiles. In this class, we are going to learn about the concept of yarn number. Yarn number is generally calculated for spun yarns and filament yarns. What are spun yarns? Spun yarns are yarns which are made up of short fibers. And these short fibers can be twisted to make a spun yarn. Therefore, in spun yarn, always you will find that there are short fibers which are sticking out since you are trying to bind short fibers together. This is a filament yarn. A filament yarn is very smooth. It is a long yarn. It is generally measured in meters and yards. This is a multi-filament yarn. In multi-filament yarn, you have many monofilaments which are put together to make a multi-filament yarn. The fabrics might have spun yarns or the fabric might have filament yarns. Generally, whenever you have filament yarns in the fabric, the fabric will be very smooth. Whenever you have spun yarns in the fabric, the fabric will always be slightly rough to feel. Let's see the concept of yarn number now. Yarn number will roughly give you the diameter of a yarn or it indicates the thickness or fineness of a yarn. So if you look at this yarn, it has a diameter. So in yarn number class, we are going to calculate the thickness of this yarn or the diameter of this yarn. This is generally measured in terms of linear density. Linear density means, linear means length, density means weight. It is defined in two ways, length per unit mass and mass per unit length. Length per unit mass is your indirect system. And this system is generally used for spun yarns. Direct system is generally used for filament yarns. The abbreviation for spun yarns in the indirect system is a capital N and a small s which is for spun yarns, a capital N and a small e which is the English system. It is also called cotton count or the British system. For filament yarns, the abbreviation is D which means denier. T which is tex or dt which is decistex. Let's see what is the definition of cotton count which is your indirect system which is the system to calculate yarn count for spun yarns. Yarn count is defined as number of hangs each of 840 yards it should weigh 1 pound. What is a hank? A hank is basically a coil of yarn which measures 840 yards. If the yarn count is 1s, this means one hank of 840 yards is weighing 1 pound. If we say the yarn count is 5s, this means 5 hanks each of 840 yards is weighing 1 pound. If I say 10s, it means 10 hanks each of 840 yards should weigh 1 pound. If I say 30s, this means 30 hands each of 840 yards is weighing 1 pound. If I say 60s, this means each hang of 840 yards is weighing 1 pound. 80s means 80 hands each of 840 yards should weigh 1 pound. Therefore, higher the yarn number, finer is the yarn because the length keeps increasing and the weight remains same. In cotton count, you can have 100s, you can have 120s also. Finer the yarn, lighter will be the weight of the fabric. For example, for this fabric, the yarn count can be 20s. So this is the diameter for 20s. There are fabrics which are finer fabrics in which the diameter of the yarn can go up to 80s, 100s or 120s. 
in denim fabrics the thickness is much higher therefore these yarns can have a cotton count of 6s 4s or 10s let's see what is the direct system now filament yarns are generally exp expressed in terms of denier tex and desitex the most popular unit used is denier denier is defined as number of grams in 9000 meters of yarn if i say the yarn count is 1 denier this means 1 gram weighs 9000 meter since the definition says number of grams in 9000 meters of yarn if i say 10 denier this means 10 grams in 9000 meters of yarn if i say 30 denier this means 30 grams in 9000 meters of yarn 60 denier 60 grams in 9000 meters of yarn 90 denier is 90 grams in 9000 meters of yarn therefore higher the yarn number thicker is the yarn this system is slightly opposite to the indirect system we have learned that in the indirect system higher the yarn number finer is the yarn in case of filament yarns higher the yarn number thicker is the yarn therefore in fabrics like silk where generally the calculations are done in denier heavier the weight more is the denier expensive is the fabric some countries are also using tex as a system tex is defined as number of grams in 1000 meters of yarn please remember in denier we said number of grams in 9000 meters of yarn in desitex it is defined as number of grams in 10000 meter of yarn this is used for microfibers what is a microfiber microfibers are fibers which are less than one desitex for example you have polyester microfibers generally the direct system is used for polyesters and silks the indirect system is used for spun yarn for cotton and spun yarn for rayon most synthetic fibers polyesters nylons acrylics lycras they are generally manufactured as filament yarns but they can be cut into short fiber length to make a spun yarn also let's look at what is the formula for calculating the spun yarn number of yarns into length of the yarns 169 multiplied by weight in grams so number of yarns we want to take 10 yarns length of the yarns minimum should be 10 cm and weight in grams has to be calculated on a analytical balance where you can measure up to four decimal points so this has to be done on a high precision balance and we will go to the testing laboratory and see how the calculation has to be done now let's see how do you need to prepare the yarns for calculation of the yarn count we already know the formula now take the fabric slit the fabric in the warp direction tear the fabric once you tear the fabric the yarns come out very easily from the fabric please count 10 yarns very carefully cut the yarns so that all the yarns become equal in number run your fingers all the yarns are now equal in length each yarn has a crimp whenever you want to measure the length always stretch the yarn on the scale and measure the yarns take your steel scale keep the yarns carefully on the scale
the length of these yarns is 12.5 cm. Always measure one yarn and keep the yarn back in the 10 yarns bundle. You can put a knot so that all the yarns are together. We already know the formula. Let's go to the testing lab now and measure the weight of the yarns. Number of yarns we have taken 10, length of the yarn is 12.5 centimeters. We will multiply 169 into weight in grams. 